Hello, my dear harmonica uh, friends. Uh, uh, this is Marcian Petrescu from Romania, from Bucharest. Uh, I'm uh, in my home in uh, Bucharest. It's uh, July 28th, uh, 2019, and uh, I'm back with another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to present you a very, very interesting and valuable piece of equipment designed by a good friend of mine, a very skilled electronist. His name is Dan Panaitescu, but his brand of devices uh, is called Dominance uh, Professional Tube Design. Basically, this, uh, this guy is a, ve a very skilled electronist uh, and uh, in Romania at least is an uh, uh, authority in uh, tube design, tube amp designs and other related stuff. Uh, he's doing guitar amps on tube also, uh, all sorts of uh, you know power bricks, uh, very high quality power bricks, uh, uh, preamps for bass and guitar, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and also uh, 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 he developed a few years ago. Uh, he developed a very very interesting piece of uh, of equipment. Basically, it's a, a three-way active switcher, but it's not your average active switcher. It's a three-way reversible switch. Or switcher, like I, I like to, I like to call it. And I'm going to show you this this piece of equipment. Uh, my friend Dan decided to 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 make another batch of this uh, of these devices after uh, I don't know maybe six or seven or eight years uh, uh, hiatus uh, because uh, because it's a, it's a very uh, good piece of equipment and uh, very interesting. It's um, uh, can be used also by a guitar player, but it's a, it's very uh, it's a very interesting to be used by a harmonica player. And I'm going to explain you why. First of all, I'm going to come closer to the camera and I'm going to show it. Uh, I'm going to show it to you uh, what uh, uh, how it looks like. So I'm going to move a little bit the the display of the camera. So this is the this is the device. Dominance three-way reversible switch. I'm going to explain you why it's a reversible, because this design right now is unique uh, in the world. Nobody's made, no, no other company is making something like this. And I'm going to explain you why it has. A, it's very versatile. So you you have three switcher here with the red LED, okay, on top of each one, and it's an active device. Here you can see it's stereo, or like I uh, like to say, it's a, a balanced, balanced connection, and true bypass. And indeed, it's true bypass. Right now, let's take a look at the back of the device. At first glance, you might be a little, uh, might be a little bit confused because you see one output and three inputs, and this is the socket for the power adapter 9 volts 50 milliamps with pin center center pin with minus okay like a normal like a normal uh, uh, you know uh, power adapter from AC to DC 9 volts with uh, center pin negative 5.5 uh, uh, with 2.1 millimeters for the connector here but it is very interesting you see one Two, uh, one, two, and three. Input one and two and three, and one output. Okay. How is this useful for harmonica? Let's say you have three different amp uh, microphones and one amp. So you can use three different microphones equipped with cables. Let's say you have a, I don't know, maybe you have a Jason Ritchie dynamic low impedance balanced output harmonica microphone. You can use that microphone with a normal cable, normal microphone cable. At the end of the cable, you you will have a, a impedance matching transformer. So you can use that dynamic microphone on input one. On input two, for example, you can use a ceramic or crystal microphone, a balanced, uh, unbalanced connection, high impedance, high output. You can use that with a normal cable. Let's say maybe you have a 
uh, um, a screw-on connector or cable with a screw-on connector at one end and a quarter inch male jack at the other end. You can plug it here. And on the third channel here, third input, you can use for example you have a, I don't know, maybe a control magnetic control reluctance microphone. Also, unbalanced connection, high output, high impedance. Also, you can, depending on what kind of connector your microphone has, you can use a, a proper cable. The main idea is uh, that at the end of the cable, uh, you have, uh, you need to have a, a quarter inch male uh, jack. So you can hook three different microphones here and you can feed one output, one amplifier. This is the beauty. And you can switch between those microphones you don't need to, to change cables, you don't need to do nothing. You just place your microphone somewhere on the stage in some, let's say, you have a special design support or something like that for each microphone. So according to the, to the song, you can choose to use a dynamic microphone with an impedance matching transformer, with a, a ceramic microphone or a crystal, or a, a control magnetic, uh, control magnetic uh, microphone or control reluctance into one amp. And you can adjust the uh, level of the amp. Maybe you, can, you have three microphones with m uh, approximately the same output. And you just uh, adjust the, the level of the amp, the, the volume of the amp and the frequency of, on the EQ section of the amp from one microphone to the other, uh, from one song to the other. You can do that. But the main idea is that you can do other stuff. You can... You can this, this is why it's reversible. You can use this output as an input. Pay attention. This output can be also an input. And those three inputs became three outputs. And this is the way I recommend to use it. This is the way I use it. And you can check my, my long video, 85 minutes video on, on, on YouTube. It's called the Harmonica Sound System. When I have a similar device, an earlier version of this uh, three-way reversible switcher, uh, the blue one, and basically I, this is the way I'm using this. I uh, feed uh, the switcher with, in this output. I put the input signal, so this output socket became an input, and these three inputs became three outputs. And it's very interesting because each of each and every one of them has a balanced connector. So according to the to the type of the sound of the signal you send into this, you uh, the um, the microprocessor inside the circuit inside, according to also to the type of connector the cable you are using here. You can, uh, especially if you use a wireless system, I'm going to explain you both uh, both options. Uh, if you use a wireless connector, uh, wireless system, you can uh, feed the signal here, and according to the type of microphone, uh, the uh, from these outputs, uh, you can run different types of cables to in, in, to different uh, different uh, to feed the different. Uh, uh, amps or uh, to, to send the signal directly into the mixer or so and so on and so on and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna prove you uh, you how how it works but first let's uh, let's show you just one one interesting thing so it's an active device when you power it the red LED on the channel one is on and And it's, comp it's absolutely dead quiet. It's not popping, it's not making any kind of noise. Inside there are uh, some, uh, uh, some very high quality relays, capsulated relays filled with argon that is a uh, neutral ga uh, gas. So everything is designed to be perfectly quiet, to be completely, uh, to, to, uh, not to make any kind of popping noise or something like that, and to let the signal pass unchanged. It's very important. The signal will pass unchanged. So, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, prepare the the first type of setting, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. 
I have here three different amps. This is a massive boogie. This is a Fender 60, uh, Super 60 reverb tube amp. Both are on tube. And this is a normal uh, Behringer um, uh, monitor, floor monitor. I'm going to use it to, to illustrate you the clean sound in a specific setup. So I'm going to make a short uh, break and I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to use uh, this switcher in different uh, configurations. Okay guys, let me show you what we have here. So, this is the switcher and I'm using this Jason Ritchie signature microphone, okay? Right now I have a balanced cable with an XLR connector on one end and with a, pay attention, with a quarter inch male jack balanced connector at the other end and I'm going to the output that became the input so right now I'm gonna feed with one microphone this switcher and I'm gonna I, I'm sending the signal to three different channels this channel channel 1 balanced cable quarter inch jack mail balanced mail connector to XLR connector here with an impedance matching transformer into this amp so, the signal of this microphone, there is a balanced, low impedance, yes, dynamic microphone. It will, uh, the signal will arrive in, into this fender and the sound will be with distortion. On the second, uh, on the third channel, I have uh, another cable with a, uh, okay here, with a quarter inch male balanced jack and at the other end is the is the XLR male connector that goes into the into this uh, uh, floor monitor okay and on the second channel this is the only option I'm gonna explain you why on the second channel here I have a normal unbalanced cable, guitar cable, instrument cable, and I'm taking the signal out of the second channel. I'm, got, I'm feeding this Vox Flat 4 booster, and from this pedal, I'm sending the signal into this massive boogie. This way, this way, I have two different sounds, two different distorted, distorted sounds from two different amps. Basically, because the, this microphone is a dynamic microphone with low impedance, I need to use this setup, this setting, on the second channel in order to raise the level, the signal uh, level of, of this microphone with the aid of the, of the flat 4 boost. So, I'm going to put the camera back on, the, on its support and I'm going to show you exactly what is, what is happening. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take a normal. Okay, guys. So Jason Ritchie dynamic low impedance balanced output microphone. Balanced cable XLR with quarter inch jack at the other end. Also balanced connector. I'm, uh, I send the signal of this microphone to the input of this, uh, of this switcher and I have three different outputs. Okay, channel one. The signal of the microphone from channel 1 is sending the, the signal into this app. Check this out. I don't want to, to raise the level uh, uh, because I'm living in an apartment, I don't want to make so much, so much noise. So, 
Sounds pretty good. Right now, check second channel. Right now, the signal is traveling from the second channel to the, into this Vox flat 4 boost and from this flat 4 boost to the massive boom. Check this out. If I bypass the pedal, the signal is weak. Because the signal of this microphone there is, that has a balanced connection and low output is going directly to the, to the amp. So it doesn't have a uh, stronger output, uh, stronger enough output to, to drive the, uh, to put the, the preamp section of the master book into, into overdrive. So, I use the, the Vox Lab for boost. So, channel 3, this amp is a little bit noisy, it has a problem, but you, you can get the idea. And right now, I'm going to send from channel 3, I'm going to send the signal of this microphone, clean signal, acoustic sound, to this floor monitor. problem with the, with the current on my power socket and 230 volts AC. It has a bit of a problem, I don't know, maybe it's some kind of a parasitic noises or something like that. So, Behringer, channel 3, clean channel. Channel 2, Mr. Boogie. Channel 1, Fender. So you can have three different uh, three different sounds on stage. Amplified, one sound, amplified, second sound, and also the clean sound. And pay attention, I'm using a, a cable. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch on, on my AKG wireless system, and in that moment, the magic will start to, to reveal. Uh, I'm going to make another break and I'm going to prepare the, uh, the wireless system. I'm going to show you why it's, it's magic. Alright, I'm back and right now I'm using my trusty AKG uh, SR40 Pro with, a, with this snap-on transmitter. I'm, uh, I, I think I told you in other videos that this transmitter from this system is absolutely and completely transparent. According to what kind of microphone you're using, if you're using a dynamic low impedance balance connection microphone with low output, if you're using a crystal or ceramic microphone, unbalanced connection, high output, high impedance, or a dynamic high impedance, unbalanced connection, high output. You can use all of them with such a system and this transmitter will recognize the type of the, of the connection and the type of the output, the type of impedance, impedance. So, if you send the signal from this receiver to this switcher, you'll be able to 
send the signal in different configurations for example with a with a dynamic balanced output low impedance microphone like Jason Ritchie you can send the signal for example to this channel from this channel with a balance cable with an impedance matching transformer into an, into an amp okay also with the same microphone channel 3 clean sound directly into the front of the house mixer and you have with the same microphone on channel 3 acoustic sound, clean sound the same microphone on channel 1 amplified sound but you can use also a crystal microphone switch on channel 2 and the signal will go into another amp, for example. Or you can use on the same channel a high impedance unbalanced connection dynamic microphone, like this Shure uh, uh, 545. <laughs> And this is the beauty of this of this uh, switcher. It has balanced connection connectors on all inputs or on any of these inputs or outputs. And according to the type of sound you need, you can use the proper cable with the proper connection to send the signal exactly where you want. So once again. Jason Ritchie, low impedance, low output, balance connection, channel 1, amplified sound, channel 3, clean sound, acoustic sound, switch it to another microphone, channel 2, crystal microphone into the Mesa Boogie, normal cable. that's it so three-way reversible switcher and also as I told you basically you can put three different microphones in input one two and three and feed one amp with three different microphones I'm gonna show exactly uh, that after a short break and, and uh, I'll be back Okay guys, everything is, uh, is set up, so last part I'm gonna show you how uh, can you use this switcher for three different inputs, three different microphones with one amp. Right now I have three different cables here in the input one, two and three and one output. This cable is going directly from the output directly into the, into the amp. On first channel, I have a normal microphone cable attached to the Jason Ritchie harmonica microphone and I'm using an impedance matching transformer. On the second uh, channel, for the moment, there is uh, just uh, this cable because I need to, to use an adapter and on the third channel is the uh, signal from uh, uh, for, for, from the third microphone uh, for this for example for this uh, uh, crystal microphone so first of all the first channel raise the volume on the amp on five first channel dynamic microphone okay second channel I can talk out the cable for this second channel with a crystal microphone on third channel I can use also another cable 
I don't have another adapter like this. I have one, but it's uh, it has some problems. Third channel, or I can use on the third channel. I can use the high impedance dynamic microphone. And as you can see, you have a great. Uh, okay, I'm going to use right now the second channel again with this microphone. You have a great uh, uh, freedom of choice. You can use three different microphones with cable inside on input one, two, and three, and send from the output one si uh, a signal, one signal to an amplifier. You can choose three different microphones. Only make slight adjustment for the volume from the EQE section on the amp. Maybe you can you you have let's say three different microphones: a dynamic, a ceramic, or a crystal, or a, and the control magnetic with uh, the same type of output output level. And you can uh, if you if you have three options like this, you have three, also three different uh, microphones with three different characters of uh, sound characters. So you just adjust the volume, the general volume, and the EQing of the amp. And also. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, connect uh, to the output. The output became the input. You can put one microphone and send the signal to three different into three different uh, 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 amplifier uh, uh, sources of amplifying to a, a monitor to do two different amps and also also using cables. But if you're using a, a wireless system like I'm using, like the one I'm using, maybe the X5 uh, it will work also, I don't know. But if you have an AKG like I, I have, you can uh, go wireless and you can also feed the signal from the from the transmitter to the to the input of the of the uh, switcher and from from uh, each of the of the, those three uh, outputs you can choose to, to, to go uh, to use a dynamic microphone or Jason Rich dynamic microphone, low impedance, low output to a, for clean sound to a monitor to front of the house mixer and to monitors and also uh, from the second channel you can uh, use a, an adapter a cable with an impedance matching transformer and uh, convert the signal uh, the, the clean signal to uh, distorted signal into an amp and if you uh, switch for the second channel, you can use a, also a, a ceramic or a control magnetic microphone, unbalanced connection, high output, uh, to send the signal to another amp for two different sounds. This device is delivering the is delivering the the, the goods. So uh, the, the 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 most important aspect is that this switcher uh, will allow you to to. Uh, uh, Combine a lot of uh, to have a lot of possibility uh, possibilities and to combine the microphones in different ways. So once again, active switcher, three channels, reversible, three-way reversible switch. It's stereo or balanced on all of those connections here, and true bypass. It's powered by nine volts, 50 milliamps, with a center pin, uh, a minus on the center pin. A 5.5 with 2.1 millimeters connector for the power adapter. So it's uh, it's made of uh, uh, it's made with uh, uh, high quality uh, one millimeter steel. The casing it has four rubber feet with screws, but you can took them out and put Velcro here if you want to to use it in a pedal board. So once again. So this is the dominance, yes, three-way reversible switch or switcher, like I used to to call it. Okay, one output with three inputs, or one input with three outputs. It's reversible, true bypass, 
balance connection or stereo connections like you uh, like you saw in the in the video this is available for sale uh, I'm gonna let you my contact uh, how, how to the way to contact me so I'm gonna tell you more about it and uh, about the price and how to how to uh, acquire one to buy one thank you so much for watching this is my champ Petrescu from Romania with a very important tool for our harmonica players who want diversity and freedom of uh, of changing microphones and freedom of movement uh, of movement on stage if you go uh, if you choose to go wireless thank you so much